Hello everyone and welcome back to Mechanical Mastery where we will hopefully get the SPS done today. Uh, first I will make a chemical... Oh. Alright, now you gotta make the chemical housing and then add the thing. There we go. Okay. Now I wasn't sure if it was chemical or uh, fluid at first, but I believe it is chemical, so that's what we're going to go with. Anyway, we got that. Uh, I tried to put in a, another stopgap measure for my uh, thing over there, my fission reactor, but it did not work. Okay. Anyway, um, S P uh, no S P S. There we go. All right. So we needed the sixty casings, which we started to make, and they are now done. I made. If you remember, we made seventy-two casings, and twelve of which went for the three ports. Uh, we also set up to make the coil last time so we have that and likewise we needed structural glass which we already had uh set up as well so we're gonna do that and with all that i think yeah we are done with that we get no reward but we needed it to get into the antimatter now with antimatter, we need to pump anti 1,000 millibuckets into a chemical crystallizer to make one pellet of antimatter. Now to get the antimatter, we need the uh, supercritical phase shifter, which is what all that stuff is there I got. And for that, we need 1,000 millibuckets of polonium into one millibucket of antimatter plus we need 400 fe or 400 million fe a tick as well so uh this is not going to be a fast process so we definitely want to get it started sooner than later so what i'm thinking is let's go over here where I started setting up for it, I hope. Hope I, uh, got what we need anyway for it. Um, let's remove that and then we can just stick you right there. Alright, and then around you, I believe, we need like this. I think it goes like that. Uh, and then we need to go like that. You go here. And you go here, right? Or is that supposed to be structural glass? Uh, no, we, I think, hold on, I think that's supposed to be all structural glass. Uh, should get out my other pick, but there we go. Oh, good thing that came back to me. All right, so maybe uh, that might be that this is meant to be glass, like that, and then we go like this. I know it's in the shape of a 21 crafter, which is like this. And then I believe then must go around here. This, I think. I've never used this before. I'm going off what I'm trying to remember from video I watched a while back. 
and if nothing else, I'll have to go find it again, but I'm hoping I can remember it. Alright, so it's like that, and then we do the same thing here with that, and then two, three, one more, and then we go around you, and around you, and then you likewise need encased around here, and around here, alright, so then, if I'm correct, we'll have to do that again, uh, two, three, and then you, and then you go here, uh, like that, and you go here, like that, uh, nope. oh, I hope I can break this glass without losing it. Uh, but I think I got it back. Alright, so... One, two, oh. Okay, wait, I... It's something wrong here. Uh, I think I didn't go up high enough. Alright, so... The one, two... And you get third, and then... You go around, and you go right. Yeah, that should be it there. Alright, uh, except for we're probably gonna need to knock out one of these. Now, I don't know if it has to be centered, I can't remember. Uh, it might need to be, but I'm gonna try to put it down here. Mainly because I just need a spot to have it. Okay, so, you go here. You would go here, 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 and here. You go around this side. Right, like so. Right. And then, you gotta go, you go there, and then we can, you, like that. And go up, and you will go one more. And then we put on that little side there. Once again, we gotta go around with our casings. Like so. And here. And then. Okay, so we need you here. And then you there. Perfect. So now. We put the glass here. Here. Here, and go in here, and one final set of glass here, okay, so then you should go here, 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 and then here, likewise you go there, and there, alright, so final stretch would be up top here. So, let's say you to you and you and you and we will go like this. Alright, and then okay, one extra which is fine. And you figured I'd have an extra one of you. Uh, you, not so, not sure if I'm supposed to have an extra casing or not. I may, it may have not, well, well okay, can't finalize because I didn't put in the coil. So, let's go, uh, put in this coil. Alright, here we go, moment of truth. 
Are you gonna finalize? And the answer is no. What did I do wrong? Okay. I may need to actually have this in the center. Uh, let's see if that's the problem. Or if I just screwed something else up. Alright. Let's see if I can put you here. Alright. Uh, maybe we don't get the little particle things? Because I'm pretty sure this is right. My, oh, wait. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. There's where I missed the casing. And there's our particles. Okay. So, that was just a me screw up there. I wonder if I can move this then. I know it ain't gonna look exactly right. But. It, well, I guess you don't even need that one there. But, we are pretty good in it. So, let's actually just go ahead and stick it... You know what, if I could just stick it right underneath, like down here, then I wouldn't have to run secondary, I mean it's going to look like crap, but then I wouldn't have to run another line all the way around. Uh, put you there, now I guess I'm going to need my configurator, huh? Uh, yeah, okay. Output, input, yes. Okay, so you're gonna output your stuff there, which I did not bring an importer for. Lovely. Uh, Alright, so let's see. Uh, importer plus you. Alright, uh, import bus, perfect. Let's uh, go set up the casing for the housing. Uh, we're going to need, no, not here, over here. It's over in this one. Uh, da -da -da -da. In here, yep, there it is. Okay. So let's stick you there, and then we're going to need, uh, and, damn it, anti-matter. <gasps> Alright, so we're going to stick you like that, and there we go. One thing to set up for anti-matter. Uh, wait, you know what, should probably keep that up there because I'm going to might need to set you as your export I don't know all right so there that's done uh let's just throw you back in there oh shoot. you know what though I'm gonna lose that anti-matter because I need to come over here and grab another piece of cable uh, cable, ball. Cable. ball. Thank you, cable. Okay, ball. Okay. I think one piece should do, but I better grab two. Ah, screw it. I can throw whatever's left back. Okay. So now all I should have to do is stick you here. And I should be able to go you to you, and then all I need is that other piece right there. Alright, so down here, I need to stick you in there. Uh, yeah, so that way the liquid, or the gas version of the antimatter will go there. Um, then we need uh, an export bus and probably a 
Okay, so we need export bus for that. And then we will want a uh, import probably for you unless I no, no, I do want you. Okay, you. And then we need another table to grab you. And then we also need a uh, crystal. Oh my, if I could type crystallizer. All right, so we'll need a chemical crystallizer. And then, um, ah, upgrades maybe would help. So let's grab some of those. Okay. So now all we need to do is put our crystallizer over here. I have a... Yeah, I do. Good. Thought I might have had a gate in there. Alright. Um, crystallizer we could put... Okay, so where is the best spot to run this cable? Uh, nowhere here, really. Um. Alright, so if we can run this cable here, here, right. and we all just uh, we're gonna have to go around this one like that, and over, and then we can over here. All right. Now, uh, as much as I hate the cross without having something to cover it with, uh, otherwise I'm going to have to go all the way down here and around, and that's a pain in the ass. So, let's go here, and then we will go right uh, like this. Alright, and then all we have to do now is put in our importer right there. Grab our wrench, switch it for our configurator. Uh, my need that configurator back actually, so switch back okay so you now will have an item output to the bottom yes which is fine and then your gas inputs are all around so it don't matter all right so now what we're gonna need to do is go back here set up your Yes, for that, and then we're going to need empty matter and stick you to you. Uh, we might want to grab acceleration cards as well, but uh, um, we're going to need to set up a thing for crafting for up there as well okay so we're gonna need a crafty card which i think i already put in actually let me see yeah i did okay good i already put the crafting card in and to make that it was just one of our basic card things and a crafting table basic card was that we made them before so okay so that's all set that's all set uh, we need a point, or no, no, do we want to, do I want to pull straight from this? 
I probably do, actually, because we need to dump a lot of power. And I don't want to dump it, like, straight on. Um... Or do I want to just pump into the ender cell and then have it come from there? Now, I think what I might do is send it around here. we got a point here that'll work. Alright, so what I'm thinking is... Uh... Uh, first, we need to switch you to Ender Cell, right? Yeah. That way you can be on the same uh, thing as the early. Um, now, how did I get two of those? Oh, because I broke one over there. That's right. All right. Um... Oh, and I didn't add your extra stuff in either. Oh my. Okay, you, you, and you need that. Alright, now you. Um. Yeah, because you should be outputting. Wait. Yeah, because that's your input. That's what's inputting into there. You are outputting. Well, you're inputting into the ender cell, so yeah. Alright, that'll work. So, you... Well, then I don't need you, then. Is that... Well, I could probably send more this way, I guess. And also, this way, I can set the priority to be, like, a negative one. Alright, and then... Probably don't want it sending all our power. Uh, so let's say 500,000 a pick. See how that would work. I don't know. Um, because you need, was 4 million a tick to power it. Um, now I wonder if the power has to be where the coil is. Because I may have to move that coil. Uh, I don't know. Um, but this thing already says it has 400 million, so must have already dumped power in it before I could set the priority. Well, yeah, must have. Um, how are we doing here? Okay, we're still good there. So that's good. Uh, we're only making a million. Remember, we're only making a million here. A tick so I don't want to supersede that coming in here that's why I put it at five uh, we're actually making one point three seven so how about we do six hundred that'd be a hundred and twenty uh, so six fifty would be one thirty ish so we could actually do 650, and that would be about half of what we're producing here. And my math's right. Um, yeah, that should be good. Uh, all right. So once we hook this cable in, we should see some sparkages going on here. And connect nothing. Why? Why do we have no ah oh, wait, you're still uh okay. I'm thinking the coil needs to be where the power is. So let's go ahead and grab that coil real quick. And Seriously? Okay, well, I guess I'm breaking another one then. Alright, now will you let me in there? Okay, dude, you're pissing me off. Alright, if we put you up here then, 
And then I come back out and I shut my structure in. There we go. Now we got sparkages. All right. So now we're processing. We got input of 650,000 uh, power. We got that is a process rate of 0 0.002 millibuckets per tick which is not a lot so we got one millibucket which has been now sent to the system which should then be sent here which is two millibuckets all right and then if we take our power here and we stick that there we should why are you say no recipe? Yeah, bullshit. Uh, before that, though, let's uh, actually turn off the output for right now. Just that way we can actually catch it in here. Uh, but this is going to take a good while at this rate. I mean, we could speed it up, honestly, if I just went ahead and... Uh, Put that there. Yeah. See? Do that and then you get that. Little static -y light show going on. But. Alright. How are we doing? We're still popping off over here. Perfect. And we still got a couple billion in there. That's great. Uh, let's go see what we're doing down here. Oh, we're at a whole 12 millibuckets. Yay. Alright, and how are we processing along over here? Honestly, we're not burning through a whole lot of that. Um, I mean, we are burning through it, just not as bad as I thought we would. Uh... Because I can't have this go over the uh, 2,000 because if I do, which is why I tried to set this up here. Uh, but I don't know how I'd set that up over here unless I had it set into a OR gate and then... Might be able to do that. Have an OR gate. Go into there. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh. That might work. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we got a OR gate. Alright, so we have AND gates. Uh, okay. Not gate, OR gate. That's what we need. Alright, so, okay, that ain't too bad. We can get that then. Alright, and then if we get the link. Alright, and then. Grab the seed that I used. I guess we'll grab one of those because I'll probably have to move that other one too. Alright, so. Alright. So we go here and we move that one. Right. Okay, you should still be fine there. Now, I put you here. Of course, you're the wrong way. Uh, let's see if I can find a wrench that... And I get a second configurator. Um, must have made another one? Ah, I might have, actually. I don't know. Um, don't give me that back then, I'll, 
Oh. Oh, no. I use you to... Nope, you are just going to do that. Well, that ain't what I want you to do. Huh. Okay, so that ain't gonna work. So give me that. What if I do it this way? No. I need to be able to do this. Alright, what if I do it this way then? There we go. Okay. Problem solved. Alright, so now all I should have to do is put you there, you there, and then make sure I shift you and you. And then I need to set you to that. And then you to that. Now maybe that'll work. Yeah, because you're currently running. Um, unfortunately, you're going to have a long while before we can test that, though, because I just drained that. Um, and it don't fill up super fast. I'm hoping that, well, we could test it by going in here. And switching this to emit levels below that. Alright, now let's see if this kicked on. Okay, that kicked on, that kicked off. Okay, so it does work. Alright, good. Uh, let's uh, um, put that back there so that way that will kick back on. And double check the water supply. We're good. Okay. And we're back on, no problem. Perfect, and our thing is working. That's good, because that's what I needed to do. Because if this happens to hit uh, 2,000 uh, millibuckets, that is 250 bytes out of this uh, system. And I don't want that to overfill, because if that hits 256, it has nowhere else to go. So then it'll start backing up in the uh, machine over here. Well, okay, so even if it does back up here, I mean, I do have it set to kick off for that, but then it'll be kicking off, kicking on, which is the same problem I'll have either way, but I don't know. This looks pretty cool, though, huh? All right, and how are we doing on power? I forgot to check it Uh we're still going up. That's good. It means that we're not impeding on it too much. Uh, how are we doing down here? 24 millibuckets. Still a long way to go to get our first antimatter. Um, like I said, maybe if we weren't restricting this, then we could, you know, see a few more going here. And also, because it takes 800 to actually do the process, I believe. Um, okay, hold well, on. Let's go ahead. We're going to skip that a minute. I want to see, okay, yeah, see 1.25 millibuckets at the 400. So... I don't know why it was such spotty powering. I mean, it should have been, had no problem pumping that in. Uh, each coil can do 400... Uh, yeah, 400 million, I think it is. Or, yeah, because I think it takes 800 to actually process the antimatter. So, if you wanted to do it quicker, you'd have to put a second thing there with a second coil with more power coming into it to where you could dump in the 800 million a tick. Now we could at this point 
dump in a good bit because we got quite a bit of power stored up. But we would never be able to maintain that flow at this production. But then again, we don't really need to, honestly. We just need to get that first antimatter, which, uh, let me, well, it, it sucks, but I'm just gonna have to, I don't know why it's doing that where it's jumping like that, but I'm gonna just pump as much in as I can, I think, for right now, and... Alright, let's see. See how much we get towards our... Alright, so we're still only at 51 mil buckets. We need to get to a thousand. So yeah, that's definitely going to take a while. Um, and we're down to 460 billion now with that little stunt that I pulled there. Uh, no, I could let this run, which is probably what I'll end up having to do. Which is why I want that extra security down there, because I just don't like running the reactor, especially if I have to leave it unattended. Yeah, you know, and that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. If I don't want to have to keep killing our reserves here, but, you know, right now that's pretty much what I'm doing. Because, see, we're blasting through our reserves pretty hardcore there. At that rate. So, uh, we can let it go down a little bit more, but then, you know, we don't want to drain all our power, you know? And, yeah. Alright, so, let's go ahead and do that. Might also want to, uh, do the Mac. Alright, uh, press, mechanical press, no. Why is it mechanical press? That is not what we hear. Um, how about coil? No. Uh, huh. Alright, let's see. Uh, mechanical press. Kill. No, thank you. Uh, I'll have two games. Machines. I don't even know what you're called. You're SP. That's right, you're the SPS. So let's see if I can find SPS. Ah, there you are. Okay. So, what we can do is go here, send anchor, and then, uh, but there's a way just to lower the volume up. You can move into it by holding right over the button and dragging. Uh. Ain't showing me nothing though. But if I do that, I can turn. Oh, there we go. Uh huh. Alright, so. We want it on a little bit. We could just turn it down. Like that. But I think just stopping it should be good. Oh, there's a little. Volume thing, I couldn't find that before. Oh well. Anyway, there we go. And that way we don't have to hear that thing going off. 
Uh, yeah, we're still okay on power. And how are we doing down here? We are at 84 millibuckets. So yeah, this is definitely going to take a long while to get where we need to be. I mean, it's a stupid amount of power and whatnot to make this stuff. Uh, so far we're still doing okay with the polonium. I've enough made up in reserve that it's not having to craft it on its own yet. But, um, yeah, we're not, not getting anywhere very quick. I mean, you know, at this rate it takes a few minutes just to get one little millibucket going here. So, yeah. That's fun. I'm going to probably just let this run between now and next episode. And hopefully we'll have the antimatter that we need to be able to do this. Even here it says slow and expensive to obtain. Uh, but, you know, it will help you get other stuff, which is the creative stuff. Because once we get enough antimatter, I think, actually, if we could get, what do we need for this creative? Oh, we need six. Well, we get two free, and the one we make, that means we'd need another three, along with these star pieces which are expensive in their own right oh that is another thing i need to cover real quick before uh i let you go almost forgot about that um went to do the not you you i set up the thing to make the uh, nether stars be produced, right? Well, then I had to chunk load this area. So then, it quit working. I'm like, what the hell is the problem? I tried numerous things, then my brain kicked in and I realized what the problem was. This is, here, is considered a fake player, right? So... We need to go into the My Team Settings. Go here, Allow. See, this one lets you do it by uh, t player tags. But we need to set this one to true. Now, now it's working. And once that goes pop. Alright. So, yeah, see, now it works. Whereas before it wasn't working, and I couldn't figure out why. But that is why it wasn't working. So now we have to where it should uh, work just fine now. So if I tell you I want that, it should just be able to send them, I hope. Um, okay. I screw something else up. Uh, okay, this is why I should have added a crafting monitor here. Uh, that would work now. Yeah, I screwed something else up here. Yeah, I thought that would be real quick to show you. Oh, okay, so you're trying to make lapis. Where are you trying to make lapis at? Over here? Oh, it's because the bone mill's still being processed. Okay. Alright, I got you, I got you. We can speed up that process a little bit just by taking a stack of these over to this pulverizer. And now, boom, they fly like the wind. Alright, 
So now you should be good now, right? Uh, processing all that, but you're not showing that. Uh, another. Okay, so. Uh oh, okay, there it goes. It went through. I don't know why I can still hear it exploding out here, though. That's weird. Shouldn't have to hear that explode out here. Why do I gotta hear you explode out here for? Alright, let's uh, go ahead and see if I can set up uh, another one. Well, no, because that wouldn't help me at that because it would still sound outside though, huh? Shoot. Okay, so you... And you'd still sound out here. And that would not be good. Uh, you uh, accept. Right. Uh, set anchor. There we go. Okay, so uh, I think the on oh, note thirty two is the max. Okay. Uh, so, wither, uh, spawn, uh, let's see, wither, uh, death, and, uh, did they have the explosion one? Come in there. Uh, okay, how about, oh, wait, them are, I'm going to take them, uh, break block, hurt, shoot, and it shoot, I don't know, okay, so, now, should be able to go ahead and do that without the need for sound out here. I hope. Alright, there we go. Yeah, see with those in there, this thing processes a lot quicker. And... Alright, so that should be processing away. Ah, uh, did we run out of... Might have ran out of those. Oh, but there we go. Okay. So now we don't get the boom? That would be good. To not get the boom. Alright, and the final final thing I promise is that I just want to come in and make sure that all this is set. It should be all set for the Nitro, uh, Nitro, and then we do that and we say like that, uh, wait, let's go like that, and then start that, that should, there we go, perfect, inputting, zapping and going again because I set up this with the lasers I put spirited along with one nitro I also uh, updated the gate to a nitro gate so that way we can pump more power into the system and it seems to be working just fine so that is good and that is the final thing I need to cover I believe and you know I'm going to throw that in there since that's an extra one for some reason. And yeah, we should be good now. Uh Okay. Um do we need a No, we shouldn't have to set it to autocraft, right? 
uh, I don't know. Because eventually what we're going to have to do is set up for the uh, final star pieces, which is going to require a nitro crystal to be maintained. But I think if I set this to autocraft there, yeah, it should automatically craft it. No, okay, we're good. Alright, that's it. I'm done. I'm out. Sorry for wasting all your time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like comment subscribe all that fun stuff until next time i am out of here bye bye